and hi everyone we are live good afternoon good evening or morning wherever you are from and uh once again uh, let me introduce myself my name is jen i'm from singapore and this is my co-host esther from well. malaysia hi everybody once again and welcome to our this episode winning lives winning minds so um actually i just realized something esther we are wearing the same type of clothes straps today. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is special a bit lah. I got extra garment. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So, so, so you mm. know, um, you know, really one thing that I love about our business, uh, I just to mm. sidetrack a bit, is that it's so flexible, right? That mm. originally, today's session is 7 p.m. But because of unforeseen circumstances, we need to move forward. And we can just do it as how we want to do it. So yeah. it's something that I really appreciate having this business. Okay, but besides that, right, <laughs> today's topic we are going to talk about is lukewarm lifestyle. So, <laughs> uh, so it is very interesting because <laughs> I have heard about lukewarm water before, la, but <laughs> lukewarm lifestyle is my first time. Then I think, you know, actually, very interesting. As I thought, in fact, many of us, uh, we are so comfortable with this lukewarm lifestyle. As the name implies, lukewarm means neither cold nor hot. So if you're drinking water, that's a good thing, right? But actually, if it's uh, our own lifestyle, it is actually may not be a good thing because it means uh, nothing seems to excite us or nothing seems to motivate us. And we are basically just stuck in that situation, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, so what do you think is a typical like lukewarm lifestyle, and why is it not good for us? Esther, what what's your thought about this? Mm, actually, when I came across this lukewarm word itself, right, probably that day my day was also a bit lukewarm. <laughs> That's why I decided to bring this up because I believe that as much as we also want every day to be exciting, there would be days whereby it is lukewarm because every day is almost similar to us. I mean, for normal people, every day is similar. Wake up and cater to your family and then you prepare to go to work. So basically the routine is the same. So if every day would you repeat the same thing again and again, right? I would yeah. believe somehow or rather they will reach a point whereby it's stagnant. Everything stays the same. You do the same thing again and again. You meet the same people again and again and you do the same thing again and again. So yeah. everything is so routine and repetitive that there's nothing new, nothing more to learn, nothing more to explore, and it's just boring. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I totally agree. Um, so basically, it's like really day in, day out, every day is the same. Mm. Um, so, so, you know, um, we have, many of us has been programmed in this way that, you know, study hard, and then study hard, then you work, work hard, earn money, get married, have children, work till retirement, and then what? Right? So mm -hmm. it's been programmed this way. So mm -hmm. as we are being programmed this way, right, then it becomes like a very much a routine. Mm -hmm. And that could be quite a very lukewarm type of lifestyle. And mm -hmm. it comes from a certain stage, right? We don't even know what is our real purpose in life. So mm -hmm. it's like why the, the pretty much we know is yeah we have to work hard for our our family for our kids and then mm -hmm. it, it it becomes like basically full stop there right then mm -hmm. what else in life do you really work for yeah then then now let me ask you a question um since everybody is having this lukewarm lifestyle right do you think there's a problem with it well. It depends on the person, right? Mm. Because like I said, we are all brought up to think that way. So we may feel that this is a normal life, right? Normal. Mm. Because we no longer have that burning desire or that fire in us to want to make things in a different way. We don't want to move mm. things out of our comfort zone. So mm. actually, uh, from that angle, I feel that it's not a good perspective. But for some people, they are very comfortable. They're very comfortable with this lifestyle. They are happy with their robotic life. And they are very scared to 
made changes and they literally mm -hmm. got to rock a boat. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, true. But again, from my perspective, if if it's like that, right, you are always stuck in that routine, that situation, that life. Mm. You know, it is very difficult for a person to grow himself or herself. Because mm. of the nature we've been ingrained in us, you work hard, you study hard, then you work, then you, you work, then you get married, all those things. There's mm. no uh, concept of lifelong learning instilled. Except only for the recent in years, you know, we, we talk about life of learning. So it's difficult to grow. But again, when you talk about growing, right, a lot of people have the wrong mindset. Growing, growing means you need to go to school and study, you know, you need to pursue a qualification, paper mm. qualification. But that's not the point, right? In mm. this in human, there's many, many aspects of growing, right? <laughs> yes, 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 that's true. So that's the what mm. do you think, right? As a person, as a human being, growing, what what does um, growth or development means to you? Mm, okay. Now you just triggered something, something yeah, in my mind. So basically for growth, right? I would say that being um on I mean on this earth, there are so many things to discover, right? If we are willing to actually just take that step to step out from that um, circle or out of the box where we have been put in or put ourselves in, there's actually a lot of things to discover which would propel us further in life, not just in career sense, but for us to grow as a person and also for our children or, I mean, family member to feel the influence from us once we actually learn that new, uh, it could be knowledge or skills, all this kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And I personally um, see it for myself because um, like in this family, for my family, we have always been stuck in that routine, right? And it feels like the whole family's um, mood or emotions right, is always quite down when there is nothing that we look forward to. So that, that is the so-called lukewarm like, lifestyle that we are. I'm, I'm actually talking about that for myself. Mm. So this one, when I see something new, uh, of course, different people may have different interests. So for myself, when I see something new, like I said, investment, I, I would be interested at my stage of life because nowadays, everything seems to um, be more expensive. Yes, so it yeah. started to get me to think, how do I double my money? How do I grow my money? So to me, that is something important and I tend to look towards that. Mm. So that to me, growth means I want um, to improve my life and that is why I look forward to find something that I can learn and at the same time grow my knowledge because I know that things keep changing. Somehow we just need to keep up with the pace by just yeah. keep learning or finding out. And if we are in that lukewarm lifestyle whereby we are stuck within that circle of people that we know and uh, well, well, people always say that... Um, you are the average of the five people you're around. So if we do not expose ourselves more to different people, right, I feel that we will always be stuck in that circle. Yes. Uh, right. Yeah. right. And, yeah. and yeah, the thanks for sharing because I feel that growth, right, is not just for us to develop internally mm -hmm. ourselves, right? As we grow, um, we are able to equip with many other, like you say, needs, skills or knowledge mm. to be able to help many people out there. So mm. it's no longer about just doing things for ourselves that it is only beneficial for ourselves, our family members or our children, but something mm. that can touch a bigger group of people, you know, mm. paying it forward where we can help many people in the community mm. and people who know me will all always hear me say that um, I used to have big dreams, you know, mm -hmm. but as we are involved in the daily grind every day over the decades, this dream seems to be buried somewhere, mm -hmm. right? It's all cast aside. But um, one day I found out as I, as a, you know, because of this business, it made me grow and rediscover myself. It made me realize that all my dreams are possible so like i said many people know that i love to help not just people not just mm -hmm. children but yes. specifically yeah. cancer children 
uh, children who who um, are at risk. And most mm. importantly, the community cats. There's a huge group that I really love to help. Yeah, mm. so I feel that to me, this is also growing because I'm growing as, um, as a person to be able to reach out and help many other people. Yeah, mm -hmm. so, so these are ways of growing as well to me. Yeah. yeah, that's true. I can see that. I mean, I'm from your page, right, I, actually, I can actually see that every day you have that, um, how to put it, that desire and passion to actually uh, reach out to more, it, even though it may not just be people like you say, I can see that you're very close to um, cats as well. <laughs> yeah, so I can see that when you have that, um, when you feel that there's something that you can actually do more than what you're currently doing and you feel uh, very connected to whatever you're doing. I feel that it's something like you say, growth. And I kind of resonate with you because other other than that, right, we would always be trapped in that um, cycle whereby we, whereby we think that this is all we can do. And yeah. we only have that limited energy. Yes. But actually, we have more than that. We can offer yes. more than that. Right. And, and you always feel that, I resign to fate. Nothing else I can do. But actually, it's not true. So, so yeah. actually being you warm, right, is like I said, uh, there's sort of like, it also means that we lack that fire mm. and lack that drive in our life, you know. Mm. So, and because of this, right, many times we may tend to procrastinate many, many decisions in our life. And mm. then we may tend to uh, even lose many opportunity because either we procrastinate, we don't, or we just, feel that there's no need to act on it. So, yeah. so this is some of my thoughts about uh, lukewarm mm. uh, lifestyle mm. and especially now, you know, technology is so um, so fast moving. Mm. We definitely need to keep up. So we okay. no longer can keep, you know, stagnant and stuck mm. in the same place. We will, we will be left out. I actually... Uh, find one word that you say, um, which I think it is quite true. The word need that you mentioned, I find that most of us, right, we actually cater to needs and not wants. And it is something normal for us. I mean, for a human, it is very normal that we want to cater to our needs, just make sure that it's satisfied and we're done. But it makes life very um, mundane, very routine, very boring, whereby you just feel that it's sucking the life out of you. So that need is, of course, we must satisfy that need first, but subsequently, you could actually look further. Yes. There is one in you, I believe in everyone, there is one in you yes. that also needs to be satisfied in order for you to feel um, that life is more meaningful than what you are doing now. Yes. Right, Jen? You are definitely right on the spot. You know why? Mm -hmm. Actually, every one of us have a certain need in us, uh, and no, they do have wants. Mm. It's just that, do they dare to go and pursue that one? Some mm. people will feel that I, yeah, how I wish I had this thing. I think almost all of us will always say, "How I wish I had this. How I wish I had that." Mm. In any point of our life, but mm. wishing and hoping is just of one thing that thing is no use. We need to translate that wish we need to take action to pursue that thing that we want so so that's i feel um again you know that must have that drive and that passion and mm. that uh, the um the willingness to make that change mm. yeah right. so so I, I i i feel you know i really want to end off our this session by sharing with everybody that mm. you and me, you, we are actually the change agent in our lives, mm. right? So as long as you are willing to be that change agent in your life, your life can transform to the way that you want. Mm. You just need the extra catalyst to push you forward. <laughs> exactly. So with that, you know, we thank everyone for catching us live or our replay. Mm. Uh, if there's uh, anything you want us to talk about, comment on our, our chat here. 
uh, uh, share with us where you're from or uh, your views about lukewarm lifestyle. We are happy to, uh, uh, you know, uh, chat with you. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With that, thank you again, everyone. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye, <laughs> Jen.